Virginia Oliver has spent more than a century working on and living close by the water. It's what she knows best and where she feels most at home. When most of the world is still asleep. It was this morning I woke up and I thought, well, late for a light. Oh, no wonder it's only quarter past one. <laughs> Virginia Oliver's feet hit the floor. But I usually get up 20 minutes of five. All went along. Her sea legs may not be as sturdy as they once were, but she's more at ease on a rocking boat than possibly anywhere else. I'm 101. Virginia, or Ginny as her friends call her, has been lobstering the waters off Rockland on and off for the last nine decades. They call me the lobster lady. <laughs> she doesn't do it alone. 15 years, Matt and I have been lobstering. See, my husband died 15 years ago. Her 78-year-old son, Max. Maxwell Eugene Oliver Jr. Drives his late father's boat. You know, I'm getting old too. My husband always said, well, she's a boy. Not that might as well be me as you. <laughs> Her husband put the boss's name on the vessel. Well, that's what they wanted to name it, so I said, well, all right. <laughs> Max hauls the pots. You can only have 800 per bowl. And I have 200, so Max can only have 600. But he don't have that many. While Virginia bans the lobsters. Me, that one gone. Or loads fresh pogies in bait bags. Oh well, yeah, she's healthy now. Oh, she's sharp that way. Yeah, nice. You know, she's good all over. Mother and son working in quiet harmony. My father was a lobster dealer, and he had fish wares, you know, so sardines, the factories. Lobstering has always been a family affair. I always went lobstering with my brother. When she was just eight, she started to fish. I was born on Clarendon Street, and, and I lived on... Clarendon Street, I still do. Not the same house. So all I've ever lived is in Rockland and on the island. Salt water and sea air running through her veins. I, I worked at Bonavata, that printing place in Rockland. I worked for 18 and a half years. One day her husband arrived from lobstering to find Virginia home early. I had a yard full of clothes hanging up. <laughs> He said, how come you got your, your wash? I thought you went to work. And I said, I did, but you just quit. <laughs> I said, I'm all done. No more. The sea was calling her back. I said, I'm going to go with you. So I did. <laughs> During all her years on the ocean, she's only had one injury. It happened recently. I was taking, saving crabs to take home to my son-in-law, because he likes crab. Well, that crab bit at me, and I, and I had to have five stitches. It would have bit the end right off and been a bone in my finger. The doctor tried to admonish Virginia. He said, well, what are you do, doing lobstering anyway? And I said, because I want to. I didn't care if it was the doctor or her boy. Well, if she had anything to tell you, she would tell you. Oh, yeah. All business that way. Yeah, don't hesitate either. At 101, Virginia lives in the same house where she raised her four children. Well, Max stays with me at night, you know, and I get the meal. I make cake and brownies and donuts and give it to the kids. I usually bake beans on Saturday and they come for supper. She drives her pickup truck to the grocery store almost every day and lobsters three times a week. You just have to, you know, keep going. Otherwise you wouldn't, you know, you'd be in a wheelchair or something. You wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to move if you didn't. Hard work. She's worked hard. Her hard work and independence have given her a long and healthy life. She's a great mom. Out on the coast of Maine. That's her life. That's the way she loves it. 
When do you think you're going to stop lobstering? When I die. <laughs> Where everyone knows her. Everybody's going to die sometime. As the lobster lady. Well, you know you're not going to live forever. So, you know, why let it bother you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Virginia says she eats lobster at least once a week during the summer. She's something of a classicist. She likes a lobster roll, <laughs> grilled bun, a little mayo, and nothing else. Now, members of the Historical Society in Rockland made a short documentary about Virginia a couple of years ago. They claim she may be the oldest person who lobsters possibly in the world. We have a link to their video on our website. She is one amazing woman. If there is someone who is older than Virginia who is lobstering <laughs> three times a week, I want to hear about this person. I really do. And I do love that she drives a ginormous pickup truck on top of everything else. That's amazing. Lived on the same street her whole life? What a story. Great story.